If you've come here for an in-depth Gymshark power review, you've literally hit the jackpot. So Gymshark is launching their third round of the Power Collection this Thursday, April 28th. They originally rolled out with the Power Collection last spring into summer. Do you guys remember that? Remember what it looked like? I think you do. It started off as a low compression set. Very low support waistband, low support sports bra. I remember a lot of people saying they just couldn't get behind that heavy duty branding. They still kept that morally type of design throughout the evolution of this power collection. They kept the scrunch bomb, thank goodness, because if you remember back in the day, one of my videos, I did mention that the power scrunch bomb was one of my favorites from Gymshark. Similar to the Whitney, in my opinion, if I had to compare it to one of Gymshark's other scrunches, I'd say it's more Whitney than anything. So if you'd like to see my previous review videos, got the those two for you if you want to check them out. There have been some minor changes though, however. Before we get into this video, definitely do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on dope videos like this, and a huge thank you if you shop through my Gymshark link. I do have an affiliate link with them and do make a small commission on each purchase. It does help this channel out big time, so thank you so much if you do. We have a ton more Gymshark to come. I don't think you want to miss what's coming up in May, I'm just saying. In this review, we are talking leggings, shorts, sports bras, and cropped hoodies. They are also launching a onesie and a crop top. They are dropping these in this beautiful turquoise, burgundy, and black. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Please do keep in mind that all thoughts and opinions on these pieces are my very own. Gymshark heavily encourages this, or else I wouldn't be here if they didn't. So with that being said, the f Gymshark. Not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed that there wasn't a little more spring summer colors. Burgundy and black, I'm just kinda like, I'm over burgundy right now. <laughs> My last review of The Power, if you remember, I actually didn't like the way that it rode up my gooch. I felt like the scrunch was connected to the gusset and just pulling back and was super uncomfortable in the groin department. So it's safe to say when I got these in, I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't correct that issue. I experienced the same exact issue all over again in my true size small. So I actually asked Gymshark for a few more sizes. I asked for mediums in the shorts and leggings. I also asked for an extra small in the sports bras. I wanted to compare sizing because when I tried on the turquoise sports bra in my true size small, these straps right here were just like hanging off of my body when the other colors, the burgundy and black, weren't that bad. So keep in mind in this video, I'm gonna be talking a lot about the color situation, the sizing, all that good stuff that you need to know before making your purchase. One big thing I noticed that they changed with this new design, they kept that wavy marbly design. I personally think it's pretty and it's unique. Beforehand, the last two rounds, they would have the entire piece a really light color and that marbly design would be a darker tonal shade of the piece. Here, they reversed it. So now they have a really dark saturated piece with a lighter, tonal design. I actually like this a little bit better. It's not so in your face with the design. A little more subtle. They actually put a nice tonal shark face logo on the bra, as well as the shorts and leggings. No big Gymshark branding whatsoever on these pieces. In fact, I'm not seeing any Gymshark text written out at all. So they definitely listened to you with that big bold branding. I think that was just an experiment. And then they were just like, all right, we're done with that. So here we are with the leggings. We have the same exact type of legging as the last launch. Keep in mind, like this is not a seamless legging. This whole collection is not seamless. You do have heavy seams right around the band. They actually have a curved hem in the front and then a V seam in the back. So at least the V seam highlights the glutes really nice. The front has more of that rainbow seam. You may or may not love that look. For me, I think it's okay. I'm seeing Gymshark come out with a lot of this type of style and look, but what does matter to me is the V seam on the back. I prefer that over a straight seam band any day of the week because this will just make your glutes really pop. And let's not even go there with the scrunch bomb. The scrunch really looks good on this legging. They did something right with the, the behind area. My dump looks plump. Shorts are exactly the same as the legging, obviously, just a lot shorter. Give you guys a better idea, all my measurements are down below for your reference. Here we are in the burgundy set. This is my true size small in both. 
This is what I wore on Instagram in that reel. You are a hot, steaming plate of fajitas at a packed Chili's on a Friday night. Just turning heads, getting everybody's attention. Is that a fajita? Oh shit. You know, the one where I pretty much pretended I was a fajita and you can't unsee it, you're welcome. But with that being said, like, you can see the dig. Like, I feel a little bit of that pinching going on right here, a little uncomfortable. I do have to say, if you're thinking about getting these bottoms, you need to wear underwear. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it because you're not gonna feel that dig. Before going commando, that gusset that's connected to the scrunch did nothing but pull in between my you know what. By the way, I'm wearing the Gymshark Seamless that they just came out with, I love it. You can get in high-waisted or regular low-waisted. Works wonders, it's a nice barrier here, nothing's pinching upward or too tight. The small is pinching a little more on my inner thigh area, slightly. Squatted in the red and I'm instantly getting a bit of a roll up. And I do believe that's because these are a small, which is too small for me. That tightness when squatting is helping it just roll right up my leg. When you size up a little bit, there's more room. So you're not, you're not gonna have as much of a rolling issue, I believe. Keep in mind, Gymshark does reference the power bottoms as their power support. It is meant to give you support where you need it. The rest of the legging, moving freely, this right here, you're either gonna love it or hate it, I kid you not. You either love this compression or you're just like, I don't need that, I don't want that, I don't prefer that, get away from me. All right, how about a nice mint chocolate chip mix and match? So uh, we're looking at extra small again up top, medium on the bottoms. Just like the shorts you just saw, looking equally as good on the dump. The length is overall pretty decent, five foot three, any longer would have been an issue, but we're, we're doing okay here. Yeah, so overall, I'm not really minding this so much anymore. I feel like now the more that I'm seeing this seam, this band kind of drop down low on the sides, it's kind of kind of cool, giving it more of a grunge lifting look. I know what you're wondering, is the light turquoise color squat proof? Honestly, I'd give it probably about an 85%. Not too bad for this light of a color, but keep that in mind. Like, if that's your main concern, obviously you wanna opt to grab some darker colors. If 85% ain't the end of the world, like for me, I would wear these to the gym and not think twice. I'm wearing really dark underwear to contrast underneath, and unless you look like real close, you're good. What I appreciate is that they took my beloved training leggings feel that I love to wear because it's so comfortable and stretchy and they made it so that it doesn't slip because keep in mind the training leggings they're designed with this type of material but even on the band so yeah, this is super slippery. When you're squatting, the training leggings will slowly slip down your glutes. Here, they do not because of this band. Because I did size up, I, I got that gape here. There's no doubt about that. So these are specifically designed for working out in and sweating in. I also think that's a big reason why they went with this type of design, to conceal any sweat. But with that being said, let's go ahead and check out, see how it holds up in the sweat wicking department, because this feels, this just feels like it's a wicking machine. But let's see. This is oddly good at concealing sweat. Turquoise nonetheless. It's not even showing up. It's very well disguised and I can feel it just wicking off my body. It's already drying. That's fast. Since we started doing these sweat tests about a month or two ago, I would say these are the fastest drying leggings I've tested out so far. They added in a little bit of ruching in between the tatas. I like that because I feel like it gives me a little more cleavage than I usually have which I could always use that. The backing's cool because you have a strip paneling of straight double lined mesh. There's no adjustments whatsoever, which is why sizing is very important. However, you do have removable bra pads. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the last launch, I actually don't remember any power bras launching. I think it was just the first one and now here we are. Very strappy all over. Again, you have straps going right over the cleavage. I think that that's just their way of contouring this area, especially if you have bigger girls. I feel like you can really fill these out and it'll look stunning. What do you guys think of this? The strap detailing? I need to know, comment down below. We're gonna get into this in just a second. In fact, let's go. Let's. We need to try this on right now. This small bra is just, it's just a little too big for me. You can see it right around the cleavage area. If I had boobs to really fill this out, then a small might work. But 34B looks a little deflated here. 
I need to size down. You can see it sag when I'm wearing it, and I had the same issue with the original sports bras that came out with in last April. Their bras were just too big. You needed to size down, so that's, again, the same issue in this one. Do you remember in the beginning of the video when I told you that the green sports bra in my true size small was unusually loose right around the straps here compared to the burgundy and black? This is what I'm talking about. Like, what the heck? It's weird, it's just in the green bra. By the way, I am so excited that they're releasing crop zip hoodies. Do you remember in my last Gymshark favorites video? One of the favorites that made it to the video was the KK Fit crop zip hoodies. And I said, Gymshark, you just need to come out with some more. The KK Fit was great. Wasn't a huge fan of the big branding. Full time wearing that, it's just kind of like a little too much. So they came out with super plain, minimal crop zip hoodies. Unfortunately, they're only in the burgundy and the black, no turquoise. Again, this is just what I know, but Gymshark is known for just surprising the hell out of you and dropping things that you don't expect. I actually have my true size small in these. I didn't feel like I needed to size up or down, which is good. This is the most true to size piece that you're gonna see in this collection. So here we are with my true size small and the zipped cropped hoodies. This isn't such a ultra crop. It's more of a midi crop on me. If you have a long torso, it's obviously gonna show a little more tummy. I love it because it's still lightweight. It's not a crazy, heavy, dense cotton. It still has that lightweight feel to it while still being warm and cozy, because it is cotton. No thumb holes, just very straightforward. My biggest concern when it comes to anything with a hood, does it have the heavy hood syndrome, which I like to call it, basically. Does the hood weigh so much that it's actually pulling back on you and choking you out? This one, no. But I do love this ribbed band here to kind of cinch in the waist a little bit, show off some curves. It's not just a straight drop boxy look. I do like this when I'm warming up at the gym. The cotton insulates you really well, yet this does have a decent stretch. So it's still comfortable when warming up, stretching it out a little bit. I actually like these more than the KK Fit ones actually. Yeah, that's saying something here. The lining here actually has a little bit of a soft to the touch feel. It's not like that rugged cotton feel, that terry cotton, almost like how the Gymshark rest day sweats felt, you know, where it's real, real rough and tough. This has a little more of a softness to it. So super comfortable for an all day wear if you choose to do that. Alrighty, that was that. What are our thoughts? Please comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I do think the Power Collection has a lot of potential. I think if you get your sizing down right, this could be a collection that you really grow to love. I think they did a really good job on the sports bra. The zipped hoodies, they have my vote for sure. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you again to Gymshark for sending these pieces out my way and for sponsoring today's video. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thank you all. I love you so much and I will catch you in my next video.